NBA playoffs continue as the league tries to keep the coronavirus off the court. So a big part of that is the creation of these bubbles. The players can't leave, but we want to take a closer look at how they work and if they can be applied to other sports or even to our communities. When the game stopped and the courts were emptied, no one knew when or if professional sports were going to come back. Then the NBA had an interesting idea. Separate your players completely and the teams from the rest of the world. Basically create a sports bubble. It was an experiment and so far it's paid off. So how exactly does this bubble work? Well, there are a lot of procedures in place to make sure the bubble doesn't burst. In the NBA's case, there are 132 pages of safeguards. Dr. Jason Wilson from Tampa General says this plan wasn't just thrown together overnight. The NBA has actually had quite a bit of thought process behind this in terms of the lead in. You got to make sure that people are sort of pre screened, uh, that people come into the bubble essentially viral free. So first you need an environment where the virus doesn't exist. That means before coming in, every person had to isolate for several days and get two negative tests. Once inside the bubble, though, life isn't that normal. Dr. Wilson says you still need to have the best public health initiatives in place, and there still needs to be social distancing, regular testing, limited movement, and different phases. So even if you've created a world where people aren't testing positive for the disease, you still need preemptive measures because the virus is going to try and get in. If there's not high transmission going on between people, there's not much the virus can do, right? It's, it relies on us to transmit the virus and to help the virus reproduce and propagate it and make more virus. And if we're not helping the virus do that, then the virus has no business being there. The bubble idea is working in the NBA so far, but could we apply it to towns or even whole states? Here's the here's the simple truth is I don't know if it'll work and we don't know if it's going to work because we haven't done this really before. One of the big differences Dr. Wilson pointed out was the NBA has created an environment without social stress. Players don't need to leave the bubble for food or work. It's all provided and it would be tough to create that scenario in a community.